Good morning, friends. It's good to be able to join you this morning for a fresh new week of devotions as we start the day, as we start the week. You know, uh, this is the month that leads up to what in the Christian calendar is known as Pentecost. And uh, we'll be celebrating Pentecost on the last Sunday of this month. And it is the day that is so important in the calendar of believers, Christian. It is the day that the Holy Spirit was given to the whole world. You know, it's, an, it's an, such an important day. And many times when we talk about the Holy Spirit, a lot of people get a little bit afraid. Uh, sometimes they just turn off, get skeptical and uh, don't sometimes want to know much about who the Holy Spirit is. Now, and then we are on top of that, sometimes we are told by our friends or other believers, well-meaning believers, that let's keep quiet about the Holy Spirit, let's not talk about the Holy Spirit because a lot of time the Holy Spirit is associated with things that are sometimes uh, not the normal things that we are grown to uh, accept as believers and uh, we prefer the quiet life the normal life status quo but when the Holy Spirit comes in there's a lot of things that get stirred up a lot of things get ruffled up in our lives a lot of things get exposed even sometimes but you know what? The Holy Spirit wants to be our best friend. In fact, the Holy Spirit already lives inside each and every one of us. All we need to do is this, to develop a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I want to read a portion of scripture where Jesus assures the disciples as he was going to the cross as he was preparing them, he said these words to them. They were worried. Our leader is not going to be with us anymore. Our friend, the one who gives us confidence, is not going to be with us. Jesus is saying that he's going to leave them. But here he gives them an assurance and says in John chapter 14, and I will pray the Father, and He will give you another helper, that He may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. But you know Him. I like those words. You know Him. I know Him, friends. For he dwells with you and will be in you. Now, one of the biggest areas of concern for many people in the world is loneliness. Now, we would have seen this during the time of the MCO and even before that, especially in uh, advanced nations. We hear of how old people are forgotten left to live in their own apartments and sadly sometimes are only found after they have left this world and uh, loneliness affects everybody especially in a society that we live in today the progressive society everybody is busy everybody has things to do sometimes the more progressive the society is the less we know people that are around us. One example is, do you know your neighbors, people living around you? Life can get lonely. I was told in Singapore, even though we see thousands of people in the MRT, in the bus, there's any, hardly anyone who cares or even has any concern with people around them. Everybody has put on their headphones, listening to music, listening to the news or songs, and 
we just lose connection with people. When the, you and I become believers, one of the things that we discover is God is a relational God. He loves to be in relationship with us. And one of the best ways that the Lord can be in relationship with us is through the Holy Spirit. He wants to be your best friend. He wants to reveal to you who He is. He wants you to come into close and intimate friendship with Him. You know how many of us, by discounting the Holy Spirit from the Godhead, you know, discounting the Holy Spirit is discounting God because God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. If anyone says that I don't mind the Father, I don't mind the Son, but let's leave the Holy Spirit out of this. Now, if we say that, we are saying that we don't want to complete God. And the Holy Spirit completes our life. He is the essential part of the Godhead today, here on this earth. He helps us. He comforts us. He helps us to move into the dimension that we as believers need to move into. How much of our Christian life is left empty and powerless and lonely without the Holy Spirit? How much of a dimension of what God has for our lives is missing without the Holy Spirit? On the other hand, with the Holy Spirit, can you imagine what will happen with our Christian life? So let's start this journey. And I pray that as we go through the scriptures and through this study, and through these devotions, our relationship with the Holy Spirit will become stronger than ever. And our lives will never be the same. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we want to thank you that you desire to be our best friend. We thank you that we have the opportunity to talk to you, to converse with you, to know that you are so real. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the one who empowers us to live our Christian life, that our life will be fruitful for your glory. Lord, we thank you that from today, Lord, there is going to be a brand new dimension of experiencing the relationship with the Holy Spirit, a relationship with you. We're not going to talk about you as a third person, but we are going to talk to you face to face. Holy Spirit, help us. We know that this relationship is not possible without your help. But you are in us and you desire this relationship. And we thank you, Lord, that as we pray, you will bring to pass a brand new dimension of joy, of fruitfulness, of victory, of companionship like we've never experienced before. We want to give you thanks for this wonderful relationship that we can have with you. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time that we can be together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Amen.